Hello, this is Bini here. Today, I'm going to talk about Hang Zing Index and H hashtag to update into what I've discussed previously as requested by some of you. Uh, you know that the Hong, Hong Kong market hasn't been doing well because of this piece of news, which is Country Garden is inching to near the default. All right. Previously, we saw Evergrande and now Country Garden. And we all know that Chinese property market hasn't been doing well. But I think the key objective today here is to look into, amidst all this information, what is Hang Seng Index and Hang Seng Tech up to, all right? whether it still makes sense for us to consider as, for example, for trading, which I always say that because there's no uptrend for these two indexes, we are still looking for trading opportunity. All right. Um, before this, remember to scan this QR code to join my um, telegram channel because it's faster for me to update there than in the video and uh, I do update very often for example I've posted recently about the trade of copper to short copper and that did very well and also to short into oil which was something that I posted just recently all right so let's zoom into HSI and HSTAG first let's take a look at HSI it's definitely weaker than HSTAG because it has stocks like um, property developer and banks if you look at the levels that means the recent high so this was a level that i've talked about in this video here in this update video so it's not strange to you and in fact that when price was at this level i've sent a message okay so this is the message that i sent out to my student to say that what goes up it's going to come down okay so i'm i'm end of the day just still looking at the HSI from the trading point of view because the structure hasn't been broken. There is still no upward trend. Okay, it's still very much in the trading mode. So if this is the case, then price has moved, corrected and moved down to the support level. That means that we are talking about selling at a high and then buying at the low. Buy low, sell high, isn't it? So it's it's rejected the high point so it's at the resistance of 20 uh, 20,200 and right now it's coming into the support area which is about 18,200 level and we know this as a previous low so this is the gray zone that i've drawn in um, so it is at a support level the key thing is whether the support level will be broken okay if it's broken then this is really very very alarming move or otherwise, then I would expect that for price to rebound and for, for, for HSI to trade within this range. So what is within this range? That means that it's probably looking for a support around this region. And then when it moves up, then this will be the support region. And to move within this range for an extended period of time until something, you know, fundamentally changed or happens. Right, so that's so far for HSI at this moment. Uh, to still have to observe whether price can stage a rebound, whether price can, for example, close above the wash line, which is looking right now at about 18,500. We have HSTAG, which is doing what it's supposed to do. That means that I have, you know, included in the update video, talk about uh, resistance at 4,620. Indeed, it moved down. Right now, it's still um, being supported. It's supported by this blue upsloping trend line, which I've drawn in earlier. By not breaking below this trend line, it would be still in a uh, mini uptrend. All right, that's, that's what I think so. Uh, again, that this is just one of the support level. It is not the, um, you know, the final one. There are still various support levels out there, such as, for example, this level again, all right, which is about 3,950. That's about 4,000. And also the final one, which is this gray one. I personally think that if it comes down to this gray level here at about 3,800, then it doesn't uh, speak very well for uh, HS tag because um, on the minor structure, HS tag did break above um, one of the resistance to form a higher high so that's a break in structure and right now it's doing this low and a higher low and a higher low which gives us quite a clear view that it is in an uptrend so if price is to come inside this gray color zone here this is not very good news Okay, for the tech stocks all right i'm still um, looking to see whether there could be a rebound being staged here uh, there was some positivity here right but it is not that yet positive because price hasn't um, gone above the uh, wash line yet and the wash line is about 4260 so there is a need for price to close above 4260 in order for the rebound to be successful have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like that's the update i have for today 
If you would like to have more updates, please let me know on what stocks or what index you'd like to see. But I would like to encourage you to watch one of the videos that I did yesterday, which is on SPX, S&P 500, to address on one key level that you shouldn't break. And as you know, it broke last night.